Hi guys, it's Tim from Manila Photo Academy again and well, we always get new stuff to play with and I'm very very happy to actually have uh, Daniel here with me today. Daniel has come over to dive with us for the past couple of days and we've got a really amazing toy. It's in the market, there are a couple of videos up there but I'd like to make a very short introduction to this because I think it's just... Well, when I first saw it, I thought this is amazing and I think this is kind of like the best invention in our world of underwater photography in the small setups in the last couple of years. So, Daniel, thanks for coming over. Yeah. Um, da Daniel is from AOI and you know AOI make lenses, they make lights, they make all, all kinds of stuff. Lots of them that we use here at Miller Photo Academy. But this time around, he, he's brought this really interesting thing here. If you look at it, this is a flash. And there are a couple of parts to this, I'm going to take it apart for you right now. This is the Backscatter Mini Flash and unlike so many torches that we have that actually use LED lights that can flash, if you look at this, this is actually a flash. So, when I first saw this, I thought, wow, this is kind of like taking out the flash from your G17 or your G15 and putting it onto a little modular piece like this. So this is not an LED that can flash, this is actually a flash. Uh, it uses one 18654 uh, battery and according to Daniel here, one fully charged battery can one, flash 1,400 times. 1,400 times. So this is an amazing toy, I'd like to introduce it to you. It comes together as a set. Now if you look at this part, so many of us use snoot lights. Now this actually is a small snoot system to use with a small mini flash. So if you look, this is not just a little funnel, this has actually got optics to it. So, you know, like some of the very, very popular brands today, well, I think the best one in the market today uses optics and this does the same. It's got a diffuser on the inside. So if you look at inside here, there's actually a small diffuser and it comes again with the, the aperture rings. So you can slide it in if you want a small dot, you can have a medium dot and all the way to a big dot. The mini flash also comes with its own diffuser. Yes. Yeah, so it's also got a diffuser. And I'd like to actually show you how this works because this is not a torch light that can flash. This is a flashlight built into a small torch size system. One 18650 battery, according to Daniel, can flash for 1400 times on full power. I think that's quite amazing. So, Let's just take a look at it. Uh, Daniel says to turn it on, you need to press the power button here. There's a knob and there's a button. You press this five times. It's off now. One, two, three, four, five. It goes into um, flashing green light. Standby mode. Yes. Okay, standby mode. Now, this is now a, a flash ready to fire, but like most of the suit systems, we have a focus light on top or on the bottom. This one's actually really got the flash smack in the center with two focus lights on the top and the bottom. So if you're on the focus light, it comes to you in... Are you on the focus light? Okay, come out of standby. Focus light is one level, two level, and three level. That's the focus light. So when you actually... Let's try it out and let's show them. We want to do a 10 minute video to just introduce you to this. I'm not going to tell you too much about it, you can actually check out the existing information online. But this is a flash, this is not a torch, so it's fine, you see, then it goes to intensity number 2, fire, intensity number 3, fire, intensity number 4, fire, intensity number 5, fire, Intensity number six, fire. It's a flash. It's not a torch light, it's actually a flash. Just like I said, taking up the flash from your G15 or G16 and putting it into a little handheld system. Now, you can use it together with the focus light, which makes life so much easier. Connecting it to the snoot. Now we have a focus light that actually points to where you're going to fire. Let's give it a go then. Again. If we don't see this because the sun is too bright, we can always turn up the focus to a stronger focus light, fire. And if 
we can't really see it because the sun is shining too bright. We can actually hold this down and it will flicker. So you can actually say, oh, there we are. Ah, there we are. And then fire. So, it's got the apertures for you to make them bigger and small. Yeah? Without flashing, have a look on the table. Small, none. Smallest, can you see the light? Up here. Second level, third level, fourth level, and then higher. It's a fantastic toy. 1400 flashes to the 18650 battery. And very often you're really doing something very complex and your dive master is holding your big C cam strobe or your big DC light strobe with a big snoot attached to it. It's doing this and the light's coming up not right in the center. So if the subject is here, you need to put the focus light on the side so that you can get the flash down the center. This is about as accurate as it gets, and the dive master is just like holding a torch. Right. I think this is just a fantastic one to play with. Remove it, focus light, three levels and off. Strobe is a guide number 16. Yeah. Guide number 16 is it's a flash, it's not a torch light that can strobe every now and then, it's actually a flash. So, it is, it's called the Backscatter Mini Flash. Comes together with this, the diffuser, it goes on this, and the apertures to help you with your screw. How much is this going to go for retail price? Uh, 499 $499 together with this. Yes. So the whole so, setup. It connects by fiber optic. So again, if you're using just a TG system, I think this is as lean and mean as it gets because this time round, this is actually a flash.